today is all about cacao, one of our most beloved superfoods in the wellness world. But here's the truth. Not all cacao is created the same. Some of it, some of it is loaded with heavy metals and some of it is covered in mold and mycotoxins. And some, you have no idea what's in it because the brand won't even respond to basic safety questions. So in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the 2025 Heal Thyself Cacao product review based on about a month of investigation, lab documents, requests, direct communication with brands. We're not just talking about flavor. We're talking about transparency, safety, and purity. So let's dive in. So what's wrong with cacao? Well, heavy metals. Lead and cadmium being the biggest ones that we find in cacao. Cadmium is often absorbed from volcanic or contaminated soils where cacao is grown. Lead typically is introduced after harvest, during the stage of fermentation, drying, storage, or even transit. Now, the problem with these heavy metals is they're, they're implicated in kidney damage, hormonal disruption, reproductive toxicity, cognitive developmental issues, especially in kids. And there's an industry-wide problem. Even certified organic cacao can exceed safe levels, especially in regions like Peru or the Dominican Republic. The other problem is mycotoxin, aflatoxins, ochratoxin A, big one that I see in a lot of testing when we do those mycotoxin tests. Ochratoxin A across the board. So many people who are consuming high amounts of chocolate and cacao. These toxins come from the mold that grows on cacao beans when they're not dried or stored properly. And roasting doesn't always kill them. Most companies don't even test them. Health risks can include liver toxicity, immunosuppression, kidney damage, even carcinogenic effects. Yes, they can lead to cancer. And so for this 2025 review, we asked brands our full transparency protocol, and it included these questions. Where do they get their cacao from? Whether it's organic certified or organic practices, but they don't have the label. If they test for heavy metals like lead and cadmium. If they test for pesticides and microbial contamination, if they test for mold and mycotoxins, and whether the product is fermented raw or roasted. We even ask if it's alkalized or Dutch processed matters. And if it's free of fillers or sweeteners, and really the important parts are whether they can provide to us the certificate of analysis, the COA. And lastly, whether they're operated in a GMP certified or third party audited facility. Let's get into the results. Let's go to the first category, the brands that didn't respond, right? These are ones that I don't recommend because despite multiple points of contact over four weeks, these brands failed to respond, right? So we can't, at Heal Thyself, recommend them due to this lack of transparency. Here are the brands, Addictive Wellness, Life Conscious, Organic Traditions, Allura, Cora Cow, Sun Food, Wildly Organic, Sun Warrior, Mama Says, Four Visions, Wild Cacao Collective, Foods Alive, Naturia, Pure Cacao, Viva Naturals, Seven Hill Whole Foods, Maksha, Maya Moon Cacao. Now, here's category number two. These are brands that responded, but it was incomplete. This is the middle tier. These brands actually replied and showed the effort, but they were missing some critical data like full certificates of analysis provided. Sometimes there were some missing heavy metals or certifications. So Keith's Cacao, unfortunately, was missing the certificate of analysis and it had unclear organic and mycotoxin testing. Lava Love, they were transparent, but I didn't get a certificate of analysis or nothing really about mold testing. Ambu was organic, but I didn't get a certificate of analysis and I didn't get much about their mold testing. Raw meal was organic at a GMP certified laboratory, but the certificate of analysis unfortunately had lead levels just a bit too high for my liking. And this one might've been just their batch, but overall this company looked great. I just wish that the lead levels were a little bit lower. So hoping that I can get a follow-up test. So we'll keep this on the pending one because it might be a really good one. Cocoa Supply, they had a certificate of analysis, but it only showed cadmium levels, not lead. I didn't get anything comprehensive. Navitas, is one that I've, I've been reviewing for a while. They're regenerative organic. Uh, they look good across the board. The levels that they gave me for their testing on the response were low for their heavy metals, but I just didn't get a certificate of analysis. 
I just didn't get it. And I was really hoping that I do I could because this is such an accessible cacao and they're doing so well and great for them. I really just wish I could see that certificate of analysis so I can put Navitas on the top tier ones like I'm going to talk about soon. Sacred Taste, unfortunately, no heavy metals or certificate of analysis. And I'm Lakesh, their COA was vague, right? On lead, it was listed as less than two parts per million, but I don't really know the number. And even two parts per million is a little bit high compared to other brands. Cacao, K-A-K-O, I've worked with them before. Um, for all intents and purposes, a good company. They're not USDA organic. Um, I wish they were, but they work with smaller farms. They can't really afford the label. I understand that. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get a certificate of analysis because uh, the point of contact was not in the States. There, That's pending, so I'm hoping to get that um, from now or till we release the show or absolutely when we release the yearly ebook that has that's going to be published. And, and this often happens where we release the ebook and there's there's companies that finally reach out and things change around. So uh, I'm going to list the top tier, but no on the ebook. Some of these brands that I'm naming now might just make it up to the top tier ones, which is really exciting. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. The next company you pick, we got their COAs, but it lacked heavy metals. We couldn't get anything on that. So unfortunately, that's not one that I can really get behind. ASAN Mushrooms, they had low heavy metals. They uh, looked good for all intents and purposes. Another one that's pending. Right, they're not yet certified organic. I wish they were, or at least if I saw their pesticide levels. But um, their heavy metals look look good, you know. So I, I really just wish they were USDA organic, and then they could be on the top tier. All right, let's go to category number three. These are the top tier brands, the full transparency, clean brands, the ones that I'm really excited to talk about. The first company I'll talk about is Holy Cacao. The brand itself is not USDA certified organic, but where they get the cacao from their supplier is USDA certified organic. I saw the certificate of analysis and then their lead levels, great. Cadmium levels, great. Uh, they test for mycotoxins. It's a high quality cacao. I'm really excited about that one because it's the one that I have downstairs. Here are other fantastic top tier cacao brands. Santa Barbara Chocolate. Can you believe it? This is one of the first ones that I've ever spoke about in my first ever cacao review. And again, they're at one of the top. They had a full certificate of analysis provided, low heavy metals, low mycotoxins, GMP certified, clean, fantastic cacao. Another one. A new one on this uh, list, Anima Mundi, fantastic brand as is. So I'm not surprised. They have a USDA organic label. It tests for mold, mycotoxins, cadmium and lead is low. So it's a fantastic brand, one that I would take myself. Another new one that made it to the top of 2025 is Cacao Lab. It's organic. They have an extensive certificate of analysis, a really nice one that tests all the pesticides, all the heavy metals, mold, GMP certified, a fantastic cacao brand. Another really good one that I found, Aura Cacao. They were over 10 plus years certified organic. They have heavy metal testing. Their certificate of analysis, really cool, was linked online. So you can actually go through multiple tests from multiple times of the year and they test for mold and mycotoxins. Another one of my favorites is Health Force. They are organic. Certificate of analysis is available on their website and low levels of lead and cadmium. Those are the top cacao brands of 2025. Here are the ones that are pending, almost top tier, and we'll see over the next few weeks. Terrasol was one of the best cacaos when I have ever done this investigation, one of the first ones I've ever done. They have excellent levels for the heavy metals on their certificate of analysis, but what I was really wanting is mycotoxin and microbial testing. We'll follow up and see if they can provide those, and if so, they'll go to the top of 2025. Cacao, I mentioned before, K-A-K-O, uh, pending their certificate of analysis and pesticide testing. Let's see if they can get that to us, and they can go on the uh, published ebook for 2025. Uh, Ascend Mushrooms, we're awaiting organic certification. Maybe it's in the process. Um, if not, maybe next year, they'll be one of the top ones. So there's the breakdown, the ones to stay away from, the ones that are mid-tier, the ones that are the highest tier, and the ones that are pending. So cacao is sacred. It's 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 medicine, right? Uh, but sourcing matters. Even organic brands can be contaminated, and transparency is really the new baseline for our quality. So when you're choosing your cacao, ask, are they hiding anything behind marketing or are they showing you the proof, right? That's the big thing. So until next time, stay curious, stay empowered and heal thyself. Cacao 2025.